Hi, my name is Michael Geyer. I'm one of the guys behind First Zoom, uh, usually behind the camera. Today they put me in front to show you what we got from our friend Steve from Fortix in Hong Kong. So what we got here is uh, the Fortix Strato. Um, we tested the Atlas with uh, Greg Ferguson last time. Um, and so we want to see what's in the box of the Strato. It's also a four-in-one trigger set, um, working with 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless transmission. Um, it says on the box 100 meters range, um, kind of similar to the Atlas. Um, 2.4 gigahertz frequency and four channels, so you can select uh, different channels for uh, not disturbing each other in studio environments. Um, it also says this one is for the Canon, so um, you can use that for this brand and definitely they will have um, other ones for Nikon and the other brands. So that's the box, let's see what's inside, what it comes with. Um, so, box here. The first thing dropping out is the manual, the Fortix Strato manual. So it has English, German, French, Spanish, Polish, uh, Ital Italian, Russian and two versions of Chinese. So there's all the information in there on um, what's in the box, also how to connect it and how to set everything up. Okay, let's see what we have in this box. The first one over here is the transmitter, obviously. As you can see, the transmitter, um, it stands on there, it's for Canon models, um, that's the one we got. There's the big button in the middle uh, for testing and uh, using it also to release the shutter. Um, there's the LED up here in the corner, the status LED, and the hot shoe here. And on this side we have the channel ch uh, selector, one, two, three, four. Um, which you can have to make sure that you set it the same on transmitter and receiver. And over here is this switch which uh, allows you to fire all channels. Um, okay, so on that side. Down here is another hot shoe, uh, including the wheel for tightening it uh, to the camera. And on that side is the plug for the 3.5 millimeter PC cord, so you can connect it with a flash. And uh, well, that's about it. It's the battery um, goes in here, and that's it for the transmitter. The next one is the receiver, same design, very similar looking. Uh, the receiver, it has the same case, um, again the button in the middle here, and the LED, the status LED up here is the hot shoe where you can connect your flash directly on. And on the side you have again the channel selector, one to four and the switch for firing all channels. And what else we have? On this side we have a 5 volt DC plug for the power and we have another plug uh, 3.5 millimeter for connecting it to a flash with the PC cord. And additionally for this one you have on that side uh, a plug it's named SR which is for a 2.5 um, yeah, millimeter plug which you connect to your camera so you can remotely uh, release the shutter on your camera in switching uh, the mode in the other direction. Um, yeah, down here, additionally, we have a cold shoe, so you can, uh, can mount it on any kind of tripod. Um, it has the, the mount here, and you can adjust it and place, it, place your flash uh, through that. Okay, so that's the receiver. Well, we have four of these AAA batteries, which you will need for them. Just taking out two. And then we have a couple of accessories in here. As I said, here are these two uh, leashes where you can attach the two triggers on it, just to handle them easier. And a couple of wires. So this one is a two times 3.5 millimeter check on that PC cord, one with a 90 degree angle. Then we have another one which is a 2.5 millimeter check with a encoding uh, plug on that side to connect to the camera. And uh, another 3.5 millimeter check uh, with another accessory connected to the camera, depending what, what your needs are and which camera you have. And the last thing in here is a 6.3 millimeter change 
connector, which has on one side the uh, entrance for the 3.5 mm PC cord. So this jack is usually used um, for studio strobes which have a bigger plug. So you can use your set as well with these studio strobes. Okay, so that's in that box. That's the set. Um, we will test it, we will check it um, and come back to you with a review. So uh, that's it for today. And uh, my name is Michael from First Zoom.